today we will talk on the subject leaders and leadership i think everybody is a leader so we will discuss on this topic you see i have taken these great leadership qualities from one of the website which is mentioned below and this has described 11 types of leadership qualities given here that is communication integrity accountability empathy humility vigilance peace and influence positivity delegation confidence let us discuss them briefly then i'll discuss my points communication means communic to communicate relentlessly simplify and be direct listen and then carries in for illustrate through stories are formed with actions i don't know how many great leaders illustrate through stories or they and craze always and craze input or they are direct uh, uh, talking to or communicating with their followers or there are some people who, who to whom they are uh, communicating and then their followers are further communicating to further followers and all that so this uh, but this is this is the, the quality of communication which is required for best leaders then integrity we know what is integrity is doing the right thing even no one is watching so with this then every leader uh, even understand will be having best integrity so what is fact you know better than me then accountability uh, we always say that a good leader takes a little more than share of the blame and little less than his share of the credit but it uh, depends on the conditions uh, suppose somebody has been caught in your 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 member of the team has been caught in some uh, some wrong thing then maybe that nobody is uh, taking the responsibility and you are making him accountable and there are large number of chances when individual is made accountable but so let us let us let us know that this is also one of the quality of great leaders empathy uh, that means open mindedness to understand their followers and, and then it means uh, you are uh, uh, you, you basically understand them and share their views but uh, how to how many followers you can really understand this that is that is issue humility uh, so that is uh, pride makes us artificial and humility makes us real but there are some examples where they say that uh, leader means he has the pride of his leadership and pride is uh, his quality so i don't know that whether this this is also but this is given that this is the leader, this is the leadership quality particularly for the great leaders resilience focus on solution rather than on problems uh, everybody focus on solutions whether he is uh, considered a leader or not so, so that is the, in fact position vision vision is the art of seeing what is invisible to others uh, i have seen that if you take a stick and go a go to a bird bird will fly she knows that you have a stick or if you go to a dog and then you try to then you are hiding your stick he will understand him it will run away because he is understand that he you are having the stick so so they see better than us even it is not vis- invisible it, it is not visible visible to them it is invisible but it's still so so that is the vision sort of things and leaders point influence leaders when influence are not interchangeable and respect has to be earned and not given now there are two types of people which who get influenced and who do not get influenced from you so whatever you do they will not be influenced easily and Uh, who who want uh, like to be influenced from you and the people other other category will get influenced with you so this is also this is this is one of the leaders then let us talk about the positivity uh, 
positivity and negativity these are the two which we always discuss but then we must understand that negativity comes first and you have to overcome negativity to have positivity delegation uh, now the, the, the uh, it is considered that you should delegate uh, powers or authority to your subordinates but then there are many leaders who don't want to delegate all the powers to their subordinates they want to keep uh, key powers with them uh, so that they remain leaders uh, and then they, they can in fact uh, use that power or delegation whenever required so that this is one then confidence see uh, uh, confidence yes everybody require confidence that is okay that you have to, every leader has uh, to have have to have the confidence but then uh, one is that uh, we don't know when it becomes overconfidence over confidence is not considered good but there is a very thin line difference between confidence and overconfidence and when it gets uh, one gets switch over to overconfidence it is not known so that is one thing all these qualities are there they are great leaders who uh, have these qualities let us assume and then it's not only one website or one thought but uh, most uh, of the books and most of the professors or institutions and they tell about the leadership qualities and this may be here and there may be some some people say 11 some people may say little less some people may say little more doesn't matter but you can see that these are these they are called the good leaders they are also you see the leadership qualities they are good leader for sub qualities and bad leader qualities. And then there is a leadership. They call it that this is, there is something called autocratic style, authoritative style, peace setting, democratic coaching, effective, license, fire, uh, fire and servant leaders. See, uh, then uh, it means that uh, one leader has one type of style, it is not correct. Maybe that sometime he is to use autocratic style and sometime he is to use democratic style or sometime he is to use coaching style. So, you uh, see, uh, uh, that one, uh, that leader has to, uh, has to function according to the requirement and particularly the uh, condition when he is working. So, it's not that one style will work always and then which type of style will work at which place it is not known so that that depends on the leaders uh, which style they will use it but then these are the leadership styles now let let us discuss i feel that everybody is a leader uh, and this this uh, statement i am making a little different because uh, in institutions, this is told that you are to develop qualities of leadership. But I feel that everybody is leader. Everyone has got leadership qualities. Everyone can't have all the leadership qualities. That is also sure. That if anybody feels that after reading about the leadership qualities, you will have all the leadership qualities. Not correct. So everyone can't have all the leaders equally, even if uh, he wants. So, uh, that is not easy. Every style cannot be successful at every place that we have discussed. Every style, leadership style cannot be successful at every place. And then even if you know about all leadership qualities and leadership styles, you may not be a very good leader. That is also sure. Even professors teaching leadership may not have all leadership qualities, they are even not able to practice them. So knowing uh, the qualities and practicing them all is also different. So, so they may not be practicing even if they know. Persons who never went to school for college, universities and management institutes may also be a very good leader. So it's not that the, that the uh, the persons who are going to the college or management institutes, they are very good leaders and others will not be. 
so it's also mixed. Even illiterate women and men show great leadership. Many times we have seen all over the world that even uh, anybody can become a great leader, it's whether illiterate or illiterate, or may from maybe from management institute or may not be from management institute. Even uh, we hear in the office and everywhere that wife of a great leader may be bigger leader than him. And uh, so, so this is about the leaders. And then uh, great leaders are born leaders and some are gifted leaders. That this also we listen many times. That great leaders are born leaders and some are gifted. Remember, there are some leaders who normally do not show off their quality. But when they are given chance, their leaders become exemplary. There are a large number of cases when, when the, nobody was knowing them that he is a good leader. But when the, the person was giving uh, the power or he was put uh, at, the, at the required place, then he, ha he has shown a great leadership and that became exemplary. So there are some, uh, some uh, examples for that. Then, so I think you may also be a great leader, but you are not getting chance to show your leadership. Maybe that if you are already a leader, then it's okay. Otherwise, you may also be a great leader, but you may, maybe that you have not got chance to show your leadership. Then, thus, there are leaders who do not show their leadership or do not get chance to show because of circumstances or even what we call as internal and external favorable environment. That means internal environment should also favor and external environment should also favor you. Uh, but when they get some that they get a chance and circumstance, circumstance, circumstances which favor them or environment which favor them, they show their leadership and sometimes even become great leaders. So, so it means they are like sleeper cells. They will not work when in ordinary circumstances, but when required they work. So, let us call such leaders as sleeping cell leaders and leadership as sleeper cell leaders. Then there are few leaders who don't show their leadership all the time and don't come forward. They, they will show their leadership when they are asked or it is required. You will know that uh, sometimes some, some leader who was uh, known leader, he has, he has uh, brought forward some, uh, somebody else who was not known at all. And then he gave uh, he gave the power to that fellow that he will become the leader for some time. But he becomes leader for all the time. So it means they show their leadership when they are asked or it is required. Such leadership, uh, I think, may be called as intermittent leadership. When they will be asked or they are called, they will become leaders. And else they will go away and they will not again be known as leaders. So this uh, type of leadership may be called as intermittent leadership and leaders as intermittent leaders. Then there is a luck factor leadership and destiny favored leader. This also we will discuss a little bit. Uh, let me tell you again that you are also a leader. Maybe intermittent leader or sleeping cell leader or already known leader or very good leader. Either you or someone else has to take leadership out of you. That is important. But remember, everyone needs luck factor or destiny destiny in his favor to reach on top or to become a top leader. And what would you call such leadership? Luck factor leadership and leaders as destiny favored leaders. Such leaders take right decision at right time. Not only due to their understanding of the situation or the leadership qualities, but also due to destiny favoring them. This is important. And when luck does not favor them, their leadership shatters. So, so, so there is always a luck factor in leadership also. And when this luck factor works, then they, the leaders become top leaders. So come forward and show your leadership. Thank you very much. I am KM Swami. It is retired. Thanks a lot.